Hi, Paul from PowerWashStore.com here. I'm going to talk a little bit about the Isaac Totes uh, trailer that we built for him. This is a custom-built 16-foot tandem axle trailer. Uh, we had it spray-lined and had these special doors put into the front for him. Um, he wanted it set up this way so he could get access to his machines. We have a 8 gallon a minute, 3500 PSI water dragon pressure washer with the Udor pumps. We have two of these, one on each side of the uh, gull wing doors that are up in the front here. You can see here's another one. Coming around the side here, we have dual side doors uh, to allow for both airflow or access from both sides. We have the uh, exhaust of both pressure washers wrapped with the heat tape so you can grab them after they've been running. You can see they're a little discolored from running and testing. Um, they will turn brown over time. Um, and then we ran these up through the ceiling um, and then put the exhaust up there. You can see we have uh, the exhaust for the engines coming up right here. And then we have an eight inch custom made stainless steel exhaust for the burner. We have two uh, 12, 12 gallon a minute capable hot water heaters, water dragon hot water vertical heaters. We have a 22 gallon uh, diesel fuel tank for the burners. We have a 22 gallon gas tank for the pressure washers. We have a 4,000 watt Honda generator for powering our dual booster pumps in the back. Um, we have inside here we built a custom platform where he has dual batteries select, dual batteries, one on each side that are tied to the pressure washers themselves so they can be recharged. We installed a UWS uh, drawer slide toolbox in here so he can store all his tools and everything else. His manuals are up in here now. So that is all supported by our custom built aluminum rack. Again, we have a custom built rack here to save the space. You can see it's really solid. I can actually shake the whole trailer before that goes anywhere. We vented the uh, exhaust from the, here's the extra parts from the generator, but we exhausted the uh, uh, exhaust from the generator up through the roof as well so we can keep all the heat build up or as much of the heat built up as possible out of here as well as keeping the exhaust out of the unit. We still have access to the burners through these panels on the front to be able to service them and then we have a drain and uh, f bucket fill line right here for the for the tank. We ran the water feed for the tank down through the floor and up to the front as well as a metal fuel line to uh, keep this space all open without having to try to uh, step over anything. Coming around the back here, we have our custom built uh, surface cleaner racks. We mounted a aluminum panel to the door and secured it to that so we can actually take our surface cleaners in and out and set them in there. Um, we have one there. Coming around to the back side here, we have a dual operator set up. So we have our, our water, our garden hose, our low pressure reel, and our high pressure reel uh, booster pump with the controls here as well as a ground fault plug that will connect back to the uh, generator or you can run it off the house power. We have our Water Dragon uh, Control Wizard remote control system on here for uh, running the booster pump start stop as well as switching from the proportioner to rinsing with the electric ball valves on the back of the uh, hose reels here that are mounted on the back of the hose reels. Coming off the back of the hose reels here, we have our 55 gallon tank for the unit on the right, chemical tank for the unit on the right, our booster pump, our two uh, electric ball valves that allow you to switch from drawing from the proportioner or being direct fed from the garden hose to the booster pump that's down below it. We raised the tanks up onto a platform to open up some additional storage space up underneath there and then we mirrored that over on the other side here. On the top of the tank you're going to see there's two uh, lines coming in on the back side here. These are uh, both floats, one for the left reel, one for the right reel. The red line that you see there, that is the bypass from the pressure washers. And then we have our draw lines, our two water lines for the proportioner. And then the same thing on the left hand side over here. Uh, coming from the front to the back, we have our electric uh, power cords that feed our booster pump. We have our selector valve that allows us to choose between water and bleach. And then we have our uh, Water Dragon uh, Control Wizard remote control system for turning it on and off. Inside the box here we have our, our proportioner. We have our remote control for it. Again, we can turn the booster pumps on and off right here. All three electric Titan reels with stainless steel plumbing. And we have the capability of, of running the proportioner with the both booster pumps at the same time or one at a time. And then again, over on this door, we have the other uh, hose reel. And you'll see that when this closes up, 
there's still plenty of room and clearance that gives us a nice simple uh, very easy utilization of all the space possible and it's very easy to lift on and off and on the uh, surface cleaners here we ins he installed a canister filter a high pressure canister filter and this will help him keep the debris out from when he connects the hoses and disconnect the hoses from the tips clogging up quick run through of how the proportioner operates there is a whole priming video that I made with this particular system where we started from scratch and did the whole thing but uh, once it's primed operation you're going to open your water valve all the way you're going to select what type of uh, percentage of, of concentration you want based on what you're cleaning whether it's four percent or two percent so if I wanted a four or four and a half percent let's say four and a half I would turn the dial up to four and a half percent set my detergent between three and five typically go ahead and spray when I'm running through the proportioner if I wanted to change it I'm going to run back over here change it down to two percent to do the house let's say turn my detergent up squeeze the trigger do a three count 1001 1002 1003 Turn it back to where I was, continue to spray when I see the big glob of soap that comes out, the marker, that will tell me that everything after that point is mixed. At the end of the day, switch my valve back to rinse to the water and turn, open the SH valve up all the way, turn the detergent off and run that for a little while to flush it out. And we go through a full explanation on that in our uh, other video that we did on the priming of this. So this is the Isaac Totes. Uh, custom built water dragon trailer from powerwashstore.com 855-351-9274